All right, my friend. Oh, boy. It's Rocky. Old Southpaw. All right, guys, welcome back to Life's a Breeze with Matt and Steve. This is Matt. I'm Steve. How you doing, guys? Welcome back. What do we got? It's looking like a Drago night. Holy crap. All right. Out well, you don't nowhere. say Drago. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, we got four Imperial Stouts here. We have the original Russian Imperial Stout. We have the Almond Boy. Okay. Uh, which is very similar to like the Almond Joy chocolate coconut. Something special there. Big Almond fan. Yeah. Uh, we got the Mole beer, uh, which I am also have been a little bit of a fan of. I'm digging it. And we have the Hazelnut, uh, but all Imperial Stouts. Awesome. Well, do we want to keep this going? I think so. I think we're going to start out with that first Imperial Stout, uh, the Russian. and We want to start out with them? Go from there. Then let's do it. I'm ready. Now, for those of you at home that have never had this beer, everyone thinks they're ready for it. Uh, no, you can't be ready for it. No. It knocks you on your ass. Uh, this is so. Little backstory: uh, Drago is made by Wild Onion Brewery, that is right here, uh, Barrington, Illinois. They've been around a very long time. Very long time. Uh, brewery's been open since '97. Yeah, they've been making beer. Uh, so it puts them up there with the big boys. It just does. not as uh, they're an underrated brewery. Yeah. Uh, very little known compared to other breweries of yeah. its of uh, the same standing, I would say. I agree. I mean, and as far as their rating of their beer on an international ranking scale, yeah. not our rating scale, but an international rating scale, it actually puts them uh, on par with uh, breweries that you've heard us uh, talk about. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we've got a couple, like Three Floyds. Yeah, no, um, I mean, I would put this closer to the Goose Island, uh, yeah. Bourbon County. Yeah. I mean, that's really where this ranks with me. Uh, they do a nice job of aging it. It is thick, though. Ooh. I mean, this is this is some motor oil stuff. Okay. It is. It's so thick, guys. And the, the, the fact of the matter is, if you if you really like a good bourbon barrel-aged stout... Mm -hmm. uh, it that, comes through. It's the forward. bourbon comes through. It does. The bourbon. It does. And that's through. where it gets interesting. So, I mean, like, the, the Russian Imperial Stout is, is a solid barrel-aged beer. It uh, is. The flavors is where it actually becomes a lot of fun to me. Um, I, I really like what they did with this, branching out, doing the variations. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm upset that we don't have the Creed to try tonight. The Apollo? Uh, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the Apollo Creed, yes. Uh, I, I, the Apollo is what that's called. Uh, it's uh, it's basically a toned down version of this. I'm a big fan of it. No, it was good. Um, so now, now we're getting into... Uh, <laughs> We're getting into my favorite. Here. So this 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 goes very you know dessert beer for me. It is. It's oh, it's totally a dessert beer. Oh yeah, buddy. Oof, that's nice. I mean, that's a toasted coconut. That's that's it, chocolate. That's, it is still so thick. It is. And you and it's not at no point through any of the flavors do you lose the fact that you're drinking. A barrel aged stout. Mm -mm. So that's the thing. A lot of these dessert won't forget. Uh, barrel stouts, they uh, you lose the uh, the flavor of the actual bourbon or rye or whatever barrel it's being aged in. You yeah. lose that flavor. These the flavors uh, complement it. They do. Uh, but oh, it's so heavy. Uh, we were fortunate enough to get this on draft in uh, nitro. Yeah, uh, that was amazing. Made it really silky smooth. Um, oh yeah, so we used to we used to serve this on, on nitro. Yeah, uh, it worked. I I really liked it. I was a big fan. Me too. It was uh, excellent. Yeah, that added creaminess is where it was at. Right. All right. So we're gonna move right along. What do you got there? Um. Well, so we just did the almond boy. Yep. So this is the mole. The mole. So Steve's dad once told me at the bar that he would love. To marinate a chicken in this. And I'm behind him 100%. He did say, I forgot he said yep, that. Yeah, 100%. I think he's onto something. Um, now, we did do the mole beer in another episode. Yeah. Uh, that uh, had... The uh, chili beers. The chili beers. We so, threw this in as like a... It wasn't fair. Added. It wasn't fair, but, you know, it was in the ballpark. Certainly more of a dessert flavor. 
Yeah. Um, you don't get a lot of the spiciness from the mole. You get the a lot of cinnamon on the nose. You get a lot of cinnamon. There's a lot of cinnamon uh, on the nose. And when you first take it, yeah. uh, that's that's really what you get hit in the face with is the cinnamon. Cinnamon. Um, I think this could use a little more heat. It could. I, I would prefer a little bit of spice in there for, for well, what Well, I think the cinnamon kind of kills any spice you're going to put into it at this point. So I think heat is your best bet then to make the cinnamon more spicier. No, I think we we would probably will do another episode all wild onion beers. We have enough of them here. Oh yeah, uh, no, there's plenty around, and we'll 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 get a little bit more into them at that point. Um, Drago being their premier uh, touted barrel aged stout. Oh yeah, uh, and it's really the only one that they do. So I mean, uh, they just do a lot of it. They do. They do. Uh, and I, I, like I said, I'm a big fan of the variations. I'm glad they're branching out. Yeah. Getting uh, gutsy. If you, uh, if you want to check out the uh, link for the other video that this appeared in, I'm going to be putting that link right here. Uh, so just take a look at that. Um, and we'll be, we'll be bringing in a lot more content from them. Uh, for now, do we want to hit up this last one? I would love that, Steve. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I, I got it. No worries. No, yeah, I know. Yeah, it no, should no, be. No. I did the first two. It's 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 fine. <laughs> These are heavy beers, Equal. man. Heavy. Oh yeah. No, no, they are heavy beers, my friend. Uh, I remember when I first started working there, I got a six pack of these. Yeah. I was watching the Bears game in the house. I was there for that. I got oh yeah. Pretty lit. That was, was my first time ever having Drago. Was that they, Bears game? They. Uh, they were they were blank cans, so they didn't have labels yeah. on them. So I didn't really know much about them. I didn't realize they were you know twelve, eleven, twelve percent beers. The old defect cans, underfilled. Yeah, yeah, that was good stuff. Oof, yeah. We so we didn't know. Um, tried to stand up later in the evening after watching the Bears game. Crushing. Yeah, I think these it was guys. like bathroom break halftime. Yeah, go have a smoke. I forgot how good this one was. The hazelnut. I'm actually i, I haven't drank enough of this one. Brings a new element to it. That's enjoyable. It I, is. I, it is. Because uh, there's so much going on in all the other ones. Like, that one seems just very simple. You know what the crazy thing to me is about these beers? Is I've had I've had a lot of people come up. Like, obviously, there's a lot of clamor for this. A lot of people oh, yeah. do really enjoy this. Uh, we've seen multiple variations of this. Uh, and over the years, they've done quite a few. Uh, I'll still... to. To the end of time, I'll never understand why people would come up and try to order growlers of this. Uh, me neither. 64 no, yeah, you'd be ounces surprised. of this beer yeah. would kill you. You'd be surprised how uh, many people ask for that, for a non-carbonated glass growler of Drago. Yeah, can I get 64 ounces? And then when you say no, it's like, all right, well, how about the 32 ounces? It's like, also, yeah. uh, no... It's a it's a very high ABV beer, and I can't imagine. And I think you only get super wasted once on Drago yeah. before you've completely learned your lesson and treat it with a totally different kind of respect. I, th- I think everybody else is just like, <laughs> oh, this is a really great taster. Yeah. Let me get sixty four ounces. But we've also been there, so like, yeah. as someone serving them, you kind of go, hey, yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be really bad. Well, it's not even legal no, at that point. No, it's not. <laughs> You can't you can't put that beer in a sixty four ounce. But besides go, that, yeah. Aside from that, it's just a, personally it's just like hey, not a great idea. Stop what you're doing. Yeah, because you're our, about to ruin. All right, man. Um, well, we got a lot more coming up, so I can't wait. We're gonna we're gonna wrap up this video. I'm as excited um, as you guys are. These are these are some tall freaking cans, man. Right? Jeez, it's a good, uh, it's a good look. It is. It is. You know I, uh, what? I always thought that their uh, their tank should look like this, like be wrapped in vinyl. That would be amazing. Or like their cans, like yes. their Misfit, oh. you know, like the ones that are in there all the time. Yeah. Just so when you did do tours or took pictures, it would always look like a giant one of your cans. I like that. Yeah, I know. I like that a there lot. There you go. That's a free one if you ever see this. That's free advice. Uh, you heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, Life's a Breeze with Matt and Steve. We'll be back. Uh, with some more videos for you, some more content coming up tonight. So stay tuned for that, and uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. You can subscribe right here on my face uh, if you're on YouTube, and 
But you better be. Either way. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you next time, huh? Later, guys.